One of the men who hanged an effigy of Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir outside the governor's mansion is fired from his job. And there are now calls for a state lawmaker to lose her job over the protests as well. But as James Pilcher reports, Savannah Maddox says she's not going anywhere. Kentucky State Legislator Savannah Maddox of Grant County was front and center during protests against the Bashir administration in early May. But because of her comments, some Democratic lawmakers want her censured or to resign, saying she stoked the fires that led to last weekend's protest that included a slogan linked to the assassination of President Lincoln. Those elected officials that embraced these individuals and that stood in front of people dressed in tactical gear and the rest and threw as much red meat as possible at them, they have to claim responsibility because they absolutely know what could have happened. Maddox sat down with me to discuss the controversy and said that she was horrified by the images this weekend. Her reaction to being linked to that? Infuriated because no aspect of anything that I have tried to endeavor in terms of uniting Kentuckians in opposition to his actions with COVID had anything to do with an act of that nature. But Maddox also took a picture with a woman linked to a white supremacist group earlier this year and issued some racially tinged tweets about President Obama before taking office. Maddox said she didn't know about the woman's background. As for the tweets? They were not a reflection of myself. They didn't define me then, they don't define me now, and they're certainly not a reflection of my record. Maddox agrees some aspects of the economy needed to be shut down because of the pandemic, but she still says Bashir has gone too far. She pointed to several of Bashir's policies being struck down by federal courts, including banning church services and a travel ban. The real issue here is in this uh, phased reopening process. That has been a function of picking uh, winners and losers in the economy of who can open up when. One thing's for sure, all this attention has made Maddox either a rising star in Kentucky politics with an eye on a statewide office or a villain, depending on your point of view. In Covington, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. We reached out to the governor's office for a comment, but got no response at this point. And you can see the full interview with Maddox on local12.com.